everyone, this is Dan from guitarfromtheheart.com and today I wanted to do another lesson on one of these major keys and how we get the different notes and chords that are in that major key. Today we're going to do F sharp major and in the previous keys we started off with one sharp, two sharps, three sharps, like that, right? And now we're all the way to the key of F sharp major, which has a ton of sharps. But we're gonna go through the basic um, system of finding all the notes. So, of course, the first note of the major scale is gonna be the root note. If we're in F sharp major, it's F sharp. And then we said we gotta follow a pattern, right? We do a whole step to get the next note. Whole step, half, whole, whole, whoop, whole, half. And then we're gonna eventually end up back at F sharp. Now, F sharp with a whole step, it's gonna be F sharp, G, G sharp. That's gonna be our second degree of the key. G sharp to A, A to A sharp. That's the third. A half step from A sharp is going to give us B. A whole step from B is B to C is a half step, another half step, C sharp. B is the four, C sharp is the five. C sharp to D sharp is going to be a whole step. And a whole step again is going to be D sharp to E, E to F, right? But we already have an F of sorts. We can't go from D, F, F. It has to be an E. So this leaves us with a dilemma where we have to call this D to E, E to E sharp. Okay, very confusing. But if we're in the key of F sharp major, we have to call the seventh degree an E sharp, even though there is no such note. E sharp is actually F, okay? And then, basically, once we have this, we can say the one chord, so let's do our things down here. The one, right, the one, the four, and the five are major. These capitalize. Uh, Roman numerals indicate that these are major chords. The 2, the 3, and the 6 are minor. And the 7 is diminished, and then we have the 1 again. <clears throat> and then you just assign them accordingly. F sharp major, G sharp minor, A sharp minor, B, C sharp major, the 6 is going to be D sharp minor, E sharp diminished, which is, if you're on an instrument, you're going to find an F diminished chord, right, to play this seventh thing. But then, F again. Okay, guys, so the reason, again, I'm going through all these keys is because it's one thing to kind of like memorize something or to grab a chart and use it as a reference, and I encourage that, and that's fine. But... It's one thing to go to the fish market and buy from the guy who's selling fish. It's another thing to be able to fish yourself. And this is being able to fish yourself, to be able to reason out this whole process. Basically, if you've watched all the videos up until now, you should be able to pick any note and more or less figure out uh, the key, especially if it's a sharp key. Which brings me to my next point. Basically, the way this works is we started with one sharp, two sharps, three sharps, so forth, right? Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's going to be one more sharp key that's going to have all of them sharp, and then you're pretty much all sharped out, okay? And that ties into something else that I want to go into in a couple of videos. And then we are going to do the flat keys, all right? So for now, 
take care have fun with that enjoy <laughs> this is boring stuff but um these resources will be able to help you uh, uh to put things together when you need to so that you can get the technical part out of the way so you can focus on playing from your heart all right take it easy